this is just um, on the patio of this Mexican restaurant in like the main little uh, part of the town. And uh, yeah, so I spent a couple days in Flagstaff having a blast. Hope everyone's doing well. Guys, you know it's it's really kind of interesting and cool that um, traveling in this part of the country to actually get to meet real, true, blooded American Indians. <laughs> it's cool. Thanks, my friend. But then when you uh, try to have a uh, conversation with them, there's two things that kind of limit that is one, they don't seem very trusting of strangers in general, and two, they don't like to talk very much. And you know, if I could say a third item, it's like everyone, you know, comes from an ethnic background. And all of those ethnic backgrounds, I know it's not politically correct, but all of those ethnic backgrounds, just like individuals, are given certain strengths and weaknesses, not for every individual, but on average, for the most part. You know, for example, Asians are good at math, you know, science. It's, it's not politically correct, but, you know, I'm all about truth and reality, and there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, that certain races are good at certain kind of, are out of um, proclivity, or, um, and a, a, just a God-given ability in certain areas. And one would be, um, you know, American Indians don't really see as much value in small talk and just kind of like communicating with strangers and so on and so forth. So there's a little bit of that. And then also I think they're very like kind of um, concrete thinking. Um, not that they're not intelligent, but just that they're um, kind of simple, you know, and, and being simple-minded is actually something I think that's not appreciated enough in our modern society. Being simple-minded, I think, is a great benefit to be able to just focus on what matters instead of getting all hoity-toity and getting involved in um, ethereal um, ideologies, you know, and theories and philosophies and you can just deal with what helps me. <laughs> what do I need to learn to make this better? So on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Adios, amigos. So this is the common kind of backdrop. Bellissimo. Muy, muy bellissimo. Mangia, mangia.